Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the song tempo using MIDI in Reaper. Now, I made a similar video if you're recording audio and you want to find the song tempo, but in this video, we're going to focus on MIDI. Now, why would we want this? There's a lot of situations where you're writing a song or just a melody and you want to find the tempo, but you don't want to play a click track or the metronome and fish around trying to find it. You find it much easier just to play it and figure out what tempo you just played. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's start off with a piano. Let's say we wrote a piano melody. We'll go to Reaper and insert a virtual instrument on a new track. We'll go down here to Piano One, which is a free plugin that we can get from Sound Magic. And it looks like this, and it sounds like this. When we play our MIDI keyboard. So now I want to play my melody into Reaper and find out what tempo I'm actually playing. So let's turn off the metronome. Let's go into record on this track. We'll start at the beginning, go into record, and record the melody. That'll work. Next, we'll move the performance to bar one. So we'll double click the item so we can see it in the MIDI editor, select all the notes, control A on the PC or command A on the Mac, cut them, hit W to go to the beginning and then paste it. Now it all starts at bar one. So we can close this, play from the beginning and our melody is right at the beginning of the project. So we need to find a point of reference later on. It could be bar two, bar three, or any bar later that we could choose as a reference point. Let's count along and see what bar we ended at. One, two, three, four, two, two. So right over here should be bar five. So we want to create a tempo map to make this bar five. And we could do that by adding a tempo marker. If we hit shift C, we can add a tempo marker right from here. We want to put the position at bar five. Don't worry about this tempo as we're not going to use this marker to create a tempo change. We're just going to stretch it to create a tempo change at the beginning, as you'll see. So hit OK, and it puts a tempo marker right here. Now we can move it right here, but what we want to do is stretch it. So on the PC, hold on Control, and on the Mac, hold on Command, and if we move it now, it stretches. But the only problem with this is it also stretches the MIDI. So if we play it, now it's faster, because we sped it up, but we don't want that. So let's undo that. And we have to do two things to keep this MIDI item in place and not change the performance. The first thing we're going to do is go to our track and right click it and go down to track time base and change it to time. By default, it's beats, position, length, and rate, which is going to stretch our item. If we set it to time, it won't. But we also need to do is change the source properties. So let's right click on the item, go to source properties, and choose this right here. Ignore project tempo. So if we change the tempo, it's not going to change our MIDI. So we'll go back here and stretch it now with the modifier, and it just changes the tempo map, not our performance. So now we want to bring this, which is bar five, right to this note right here. Let's get a bit closer right about here. So now if we play this with the metronome turned on, it should play in time with our performance.
pretty good. So now we can double click this first tempo marker and we can see right here the tempo I played was 97.303 beats per minute. That's how I performed. So that's the tempo I want my melody or my song to be. Now we could delete this one. As I mentioned, we don't really need it. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac to get rid of it. And now if we want to quantize the performance, we just double click it, go to this button, and we can quantize all notes, position, note, and end. And now it should be perfect based on the tempo that we played it at. Perfect. Let's try the same thing, but this time with drums. Let's delete this. Let's clear this tempo marker. Go to Insert, Virtual Instrument on New Track. This time I'll choose Drums, right down here, Easy Drummer. I'll play the keyboard to make sure the drums are working. And they are. Now record a part with the metronome turned off from the beginning. Now, if you want to find the tempo of that performance, we can double click it, select it all, and cut it, paste it at the beginning by hitting W, and then paste. Now the performance is right at the beginning. Again, we'll count along to find a reference point. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three. So right over here should be bar three. So again, we'll right click the track, switch the time base to time, right click the item, go to source properties, ignore project tempo, create a tempo marker by hitting shift C, Put it right at bar three. Then we can move it right over to here. Zoom in. Put it right over here. I'll hold another modifier. Zoom back out. Here, play back with the metronome turned on. And that's our tempo right over here. 85. 0.847. Again, we can delete this one here. We could quantize it to make it perfect. And now it sounds like this. At the original tempo that we played it at. Pretty cool. So again, that's how you find the tempo of your song or melody when you're dealing with MIDI in Reaper. So I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.